The exhibit is titled Man Ray, African Art and the Modernist Lens. For the first time, photographs are shown next to the original African objects to explore the role of photography in translating African art for a modern audience. Man Ray was an American who was a prominent painter and sculptor during the 1920s and 1930s. When he took up photography, his images of African objects were perceived as modern art by international audiences. To Western eyes, this elevated the status of African objects to works of fine art and secured a place for photography as a modernist art form. Noir A. Blanc is one of Man Ray's most well-known photographs in which he plays with positive and negative images. Curator Wendy Grossman explains. Even both physically by reversing the print, by printing a positive, which would then create a negative, the very ideas that one would think as are represented in this iconic photograph, the white face of his sleeping muse and lover, Kiki of Montparnasse, holding the black African mask, the Baoule mask. When you see it in its reverse, the idea that everything is clear, black and white, is challenged. Well, while Noiré Blanche has become an icon of modernist photography and well-known amongst Man Ray's um, body of photographs, what's really interesting is that it was published first not in an avant-garde journal or even in an avant-garde exhibition, but actually in a 1926 issue of Paris Vogue. Mode O Congo is a series showing fashion models wearing hats from the Congo, which were originally worn by high-status men. They became very popular in the fashion world. A key theme of Man Ray's work is challenging common perceptions. Well, this figure, the Bangwa sculpture, female figure, dancing figure from Cameroon, plays a key role through the photographic story that's been told um, through images that we'll see here in the exhibition. And it is here featured in the room called Surrealism and Beyond. The different ways she was photographed convey very different ideas about the object. Carved figures and sculptures, masks and objects from diverse West African cultures are shown along with the photos they inspired to reveal how the artist's use of lighting, camera angle and cropping affects one's response to the subject. And this is actually a Cuba drinking vessel, a wine vessel, that amongst the Cuba actually was a, a symbol of status, nobility, to be able to feed guests and have this in your home. The photographs of African art by Man Ray and his contemporaries, seen within the context of the modernist art era, explore issues of race, gender, and colonialism. Man Ray and his contemporaries have left an indelible mark on Western understanding of African art today. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.